Hello, welcome to your daily December download, and let's talk about Spider-Man again. I know we've been talking about Spider-Man a lot this month, but you know, it's a popular topic. But, so, uh, earlier today, uh, or yesterday, I can't remember, uh, there was a video going around of Brian and Jahar basically, like, saying, like, hey, we, like, there was this, we had a lot of stuff in the back half of the game that wasn't going to meet the quality standard by the deadline we need to reach, so we had to cut a bunch of stuff out and keep the basics in there so it wouldn't ruin the game and not mess up the scope, but we had to smaller the scope for the last part of the game. And uh, people were like, oh my god, how could this happen? How could this, how could this, how, why, why, why would this, why would this happen? Or, oh man, I knew it, I, 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 can't, I can't believe the game was, was rushed. And it's like, also, um, I, I don't know how we all didn't know. <laughs> Look, I love the game. Like, I like it a lot. Um, it's my second favorite game of all time. It doesn't make the, this information doesn't make me like the game less. But probably number one. Uh, no duh, the game was rushed. I don't know. It's because I'm a Sonic fan or something, you know. But I, I you know, you get the smell. You get the, you get the, you get you, you, you sniff the 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 under the the undercooked, you know, or the over overcooked. Like you, you, you smell. And the third act of the game does have it. Like I don't hate the third act of the game, but things are moving so ridiculously fast, and they don't lit and they don't l linger on stuff as long as I would want you to. When just spoilers for Spider-Man Two, the game's been out for a few months. Um, but it's it's like so I understand if you haven't played it yet. Uh, some of you guys are probably getting it for Christmas. But what I was gonna it's like so you can leave the video now, but I'm gonna talk about spoilers about the third act of Spider-Man Two. So in the third act of Spider-Man. Spider-Man 2, there's a part where Venom uh, takes over the city completely. Like, like there's symbiote goo all over the city. It's crazy. It's like, oh my god. Uh, it's, like, it's like, and that lasts like two missions. Like, it's a big deal. Like, you think that would take, it's like, you think it would be like when the pandemic took over in, uh, in the first game, where like the city is in disarray, complete, like, destruction and i think that's probably what it was supposed to do it was supposed to be like that so like that was like a big sign for me when i like went to aunt may's house and then the game said point of no return i was like already <laughs> so i was like oh okay like we're doing it now all right fine i guess it's like, it's like i understood that like okay they cut some stuff here and getting this information is uh not really new or special to me but like like the title of the video says why was it rushed um, it's like, because they were saying, people were like, how come they didn't just delay it? How come they didn't just delay the game? If they were, if they wanted to do more and they weren't allowed to do more because of time constraints, how come they didn't, they weren't allowed to? Number, there's two reasons. Uh, one is, is completely business and uh, like, uh, and on, and on Sony. And then the other one is more on, not more on Insomniac, but like more just a, microcosm of a bigger issue with games so if spider-man 2 did not release in this year in october they number one it would have missed the date of the release of the ps5 slim which the, the, the whole point of the game was for it to come out with the ps5 slim and you're also asking why does it have to be that how come they couldn't choose another game well Number two, a reason why it, it had to come out this year, uh, uh, in the when it comes to the PS5 Slim, is because there was no other first-party Sony exclusive this year, besides some things that they bought like Forspoken or uh, Final Fantasy 16. But those are Square Enix properties that uh, that um, that Sony. Uh, just paid to have limited exclusivity and even then for smoking came out on pc uh but final fantasy 16 came out like that 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 was their big game during the summer it would but, but it's not theirs until they buy square enix they do not own final fantasy even though like final fantasy is heavily associated with playstation it's not a first party game spider-man was the only first party game that came out this year and if they didn't come out with it, they would have gone with a huge gap in the schedule. Because God of War Ragnarok was the last game that came out. It would have been an over a year. Like, like if they delayed it to like January, like like February or March, like when the game would probably need, need to get that extra stuff in, or even to the summer of next year, 
they would have been so screwed because there would have been about a year and a half in one of the most lucrative years, like the projected to be most lucrative years in the PlayStation life cycle. They were trying to reach 50 million sales at the end of the year, and, uh, and which they did. They uh, allegedly have passed 50 million sales. It's like, so they needed Spider-Man to come out. And so Insomniac had to cut some corners to get that game out the door before before the the deadline because I have a strong feeling it was already delayed because <laughs> Insomniac soft delay stuff a lot like Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart that was soft delayed it was supposed to be a launch title and they soft delayed it to 2021 they try their best to not crunch like crunch as much as they used to. Um, I don't know if Spider-Man 2 had an insane level of crunch, maybe it did, but I know Rift Apart didn't, and I know that the studio's been trying to work on their pipeline for years to, like, make sure that they don't have as much crunch as they used to, and they seem to be doing a good job, so they probably cut the scope so they wouldn't have to crunch their employees, and, uh, it's like, and I think the product, while not perfect, the gameplay didn't suffer, but the story did, but the story can suffer a little bit for the sake of a good game <laughs> uh, like the gameplay came out and it was and it was fun but like it's also missing features now but the, here's the insomniac probably reason of why the game got delayed got, didn't get delayed the game cost 350 million dollars to make you don't you may not know that but like that's 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 the figure that's going around which is three times as much as the last game and and I don't think they would be able to keep up development much longer. There's a certain point where you spent all the money, you know, where you had an allocated budget and you don't want to go over. And if you delay the game, they would have gone over. Because it's not like the game was broken at release. If the game was broken, it would be a different sense. It's better to delay it. But they did not. They delayed the. They kept released the game early it probably needed about a month or so to cook because like they, they still had to do some updates last minute but it's they 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 released the game early because they kind of had to <laughs> and it, it, that's why i'm not like mad i know some people are mad that it didn't come that it came out early but i'm being pretty understanding here i would have wished it didn't i wish they could have delayed it and gave this the product that they had in their heads the whole time uh, from interviews, it's obvious, and from seeing Insomniac um, developers on Twitter, they obviously love this stuff, and they love making games, and they love uh, d doing this, and they would love to have more time, but not always you're afforded more time. And I, I know that's hard to get sometimes, and I'm not like saying it's okay to release unfinished products, but I wouldn't say Spider-Man 2 is unfinished. <laughs> The story is rushed, but the game is done. Like it was a complete product, beginning to end. It had some, it had some bugs, but like nothing major that would like gr greatly affect the experience. At least in my experience, I had the game like crash, like maybe like uh, like three times after running the game for hours on end. You know, like it would eventually crash sometimes, and that's not. And that seems to have been patched. The game has not crashed on me once since like a few updates ago. So they fixed it. And it's like, but the game on release worked. It finished. It like it had a complete game and story. They didn't ask us to pay money for the rest of the game. They didn't have microtransactions. The game was complete. The game just had a worse story, and I I, I think that is upsetting. That it could have had an amazing story instead of just a like a good to a good a good story. It had, it could have had a great story, but. I, I, it, it must have been a complicated situation. It didn't, like, when Brian was talking about it, obviously he didn't want to cut it. Like, he didn't want to cut anything. He's talked about in interviews that he didn't even want to show us anything because there was so much stuff, but he had to start reworking it, and they reworked the final act to be something that is good, but not great. And I think that the game would have been better off if they did delay it, but I've explained the reasons why it didn't get delayed. There was probably very little time to actually be able to do that so they had to small small the scope but i would have loved if it was more like what we, we spent a long time in the destroyed city in the third act that would have been amazing but hey not everyone could get what they want that's it um i'm not playing bat for sony or anything i do think sony should probably not let not do this to their studios and it seems like insomniac is the only studio that seems to get this 
shit from Sony, which is so weird, <laughs> considering they seem to be pretty chill with all the rest of the studios, because, hey, look, those games aren't out. <laughs> <laughs> they've been letting the they've been letting the guys at a, uh, at Sucker Punch make Ghost of Tsushima for years. Uh, Naughty Dog hasn't been doing anything since 2020. They've been working on something in the background. Um, uh, like they've been letting their other studios cook in the background without much rush. So I don't think it's fair that Insomniac is the only studio that seems to be getting rushed by Sony on a consistent basis. But also they're really good at making games fast, and they can't. And these are licensed products, so they actually have a schedule for these a little bit more. So, hey, what do you do? Creativity stifled by time. Anyway, see you guys next time.